This is Solid Signal's assembly video for the Televez Datboss LR UHF antenna. This is a gigantic antenna and it's not that easy to put together, but I'm going to take you through every single step. I should point out that all the assembly videos were done with pre-release hardware where the plastic was all white, but with the final release hardware all the plastic is gray. This is normal. You'll need to have a screwdriver, a 10 millimeter box wrench, or a 10 millimeter socket in order to get this antenna assembled. Start by putting the extensions on the front directors. Those are the extra long poles. Take a look and you'll see there's three different ones. Two are thin, one are thick. Make sure you put them on the right posts. What they don't tell you is that it's very important to make sure that when you bolt them all the way in that you do actually bite into the aluminum a little bit. When they're done, they should look like this. What they're trying to do here is tell you to push on the directors so the posts are exactly in line. Here's a photo of the finished antenna and you can see that the posts are right above each other. That's what they're shooting for. In the next two steps, what you're doing is attaching these two white braces. They've got holes cut in them so that you can actually go into pre-drilled holes on, on the directors but the problem is what they don't tell you is the positioning has to be precise. You're going to have to move the directors up and down a little bit and test fit this whole thing several times to make sure that it actually works before you screw everything all the way in. If you screw it in too hard, you'll crack the plastic and these braces won't work as well as they should. Here we go out of order a little bit. Start by taking these top and bottom braces, putting a black plastic spacer on them, and attaching these mast connectors. Soft attach them slowly so that you're not going to bite in too hard because you're going to need to reposition them. But don't do that when it tells you to, do it first. Then take the braces and bolt them to the directors. If you do it in the order that the antenna manual shows you, it's still going to work, but I liked being able to slide everything on before it was attached. The U-bolt goes into the assembly and then the whole thing kind of slides on with the black plastic part clamped on first. At least that's the way that it worked well for me. It's going to take you a couple of times to get it right because you're probably going to put it on upside down once or twice. Once you have it all done, bolt it together the way that they show you in the manual. Here's that picture again. And then tighten up the bolts nice and tight. Don't over tighten because you don't want to hurt the aluminum, but do remember that you are going to bite into it a little bit, just like you did when you were attaching those director extensions. Here a socket or a box wrench is going to come in awfully handy. In the next three steps you're going to take these two black plastic tabs, you'll put them in the pins on this part called K, then you're going to bolt them all together and then make sure that they are still able to move up and down. They show you doing this with a box wrench, but honestly it's easier with a socket or with a supplied wrench. What they don't tell you at all is that the black plastic parts are going to flop a little bit, so it's going to take a couple of tries to position it properly, make sure that it's in there, and then bolt everything down nice and secure. Once you've got it bolted down nice and secure, here I thought about using a box wrench, but instead using the supplied wrench, then it should be ready for you to actually mount the antenna. Here I'm going out of order again because honestly it is so much easier to finish the assembly once you're already bolted to the mast. You've got these two mast clamps that slide on and bolt down, so put them on the mast and get them nice and tight. You can always loosen them later if you need to adjust them. Now they're going to have you assemble the reflectors which go in the back. You push them in making sure that they fit nice and securely. Push the black plastic part down and push it down firmly until you actually get a little click, or as they like to say, clack. It's the same thing with the bottom reflector. You got to make sure it's pulled down and open, slide the reflector in, and lock it in place. What they don't tell you about is that the reflectors themselves have two poles that are closer than everything else. See how the two poles at the bottom are spaced closer than the ones above them? That's what you're looking for, and those are the two that need to be closest to the center of the antenna. Now the manual's caught back up with us. Make sure the antenna is perfectly level and tighten these leveling bolts. If you're going to use the supplied weather boot and F connector, then you can put them on a piece of bare wire. If you're using wire with an F connector already on it, you're going to have to find some other way of attaching a weather boot. Now attach the F connector to the cartridge before you install that cartridge, because once you've got it in place, it's going to be almost impossible for you to actually tighten up the F connector. Then slide the F connector onto the center mast and click it securely in place. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit, 
but once you've got it on, it should be a relatively weather-resistant connection. And the good news is, this is the very last part that you're going to need to worry about. The antenna, once you're done, is going to be totally solid, and it's going to give you great performance. If you're using the supplied amplifier, looks like this, you'll see one thing you've got to know is that the plug doesn't go all the way in. That's normal. The line from the antenna goes on the left, the main TV on the right, and if you're not using the line for the auxiliary TV, put a little terminator or dust cap on it. You're going to find that installing this antenna is going to take you 45 minutes to an hour, at the very least. You're going to go back and do a number of steps a number of times. This is perfectly normal. You also might want to have somebody else with you because it's a heavy antenna. It might need some help getting up on the roof. Please make sure that you're obeying every grounding ordinance of your local city, state, and county, and make sure that you're taking every possible precaution to be safe. This is a great antenna. It's going to last you for decades, but of course, first, you have to assemble it.